What's up everybody? It's me Tristan back for another episode of Moose Bear and it is about 5:40 in the morning and I am at N Hayes Nature Preserve. Um I've seen I've heard that this place is really good for bass fishing here in uh Owens Crossroads, Alabama. Um and I've seen some people on YouTube catch some really big bass here, about a couple six pounders, so I'm here to catch some fish. I also just bought a crappie crankbait because I've never fished for crappie before, so we're gonna try that out. Let's stop talking, let's get started. Try right here first. I got my two poles with me. I'm gonna try a buzz bait and a square bill. Let's get started. I'm going to try the buzz bait first this morning. Nice foggy morning here. At the Hayes Nature Preserve. And the sun's coming up. Nothing on the buzz bait so far so i'm going to switch it to the square bill see how that works oh my gosh thought that broke this crappie crankbait and we're going to see if we can catch absolutely anything so let's go It's actually kind of creepy fishing right here on this cliff. Trying to fall in. We got one. We got one. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Come on. That's a little bass. It's a land. Get on land. Get on land. Yes. Oh, Eureka. It's a little guy, but I'll take anything. Oh, God. Ah. He hooked me in the butt. Holy crap. Here he is, guys. There's the dink. Oh, all that work, but you know what? I'm happy. Let's keep it going. Thank you, God. Hopefully, we can catch a couple more. Um, since I haven't caught much, I think I'm going to turn this into a catch clean cook video, largemouth bass. Let's keep it going. Let's get it. Hope we can catch something. Nope, we didn't catch anything. <laughs> um, so now I've run out of time. So we got to head home, get ready for church. And later, we're going to cook this little dink up. See you then. All right, guys, turned out to be a really busy day today. After I fished, went home, went to church. After church, we ate lunch. After we ate lunch, went to the swimming pool. Swam around for a little bit, but now I got some free time on my hands and I'm ready to clean, cook, and eat that largemouth bass. So let's get started. All right, first, we got to get my absolute favorite, the tomato. We got to get a couple slices of that. Just a couple slices of tomato. What you're going to need is a couple things of foil, just like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our mangled up filet. Put it on the sheet just like that, just like that. And all our little nuggets of meat. Yes. Perfecto. And we're gonna get some butter. And just put it on just like that. And then we're gonna get our tomato slices. Actually, we're gonna cut these bad boys. And Tilly's playing in her little play area, so. If you're hearing a little squeak sound, that's what that is. We're going to put our tomatoes just like that. Yes. Just like that. Then, this is what we're going to do. 
just going to wrap it up in foil. And make sure nothing escapes. Perfecto. Now that we got that wrapped up in there, we got the oven set for 400 degrees. And we're going to throw that in for about 15, 20 minutes, see, give or take, check on it, see how it cooks, and uh, we'll get back to it. Let's see if this bad boy's ready. Singing hot, hot, hot. There it is, guys. But we're not done yet. Gotta get some lemon up in this piece. We're just going, oh my gosh, drizzle it on just like that. Yes, yeah, sir. -y. Just like that. Now it's time to try it. All right, guys. Moment of truth. Gotta make sure we get some tomato, some juice, lemon, butter. Let's see if it's as good as I remember. That's pretty dang good. That is good, man. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Bass has got such a different flavor than like brim and everything else. But it's good. I like it. I like it more than brim and um, I can't say catfish. Catfish is better, but I do like it more than brim. It's got a lot more flavor to it. It's a little more unique, but man, that's good. Well, there it is, guys. That is all that's left. Nothing but juice.